In the 1870s, El Camino Real was known as County Road. A small group of wealthy local landowners met in George Howard's dining room to brainstorm with his personal gardener and landscaper John McLaren how the road should be landscaped. McLaren would later become known for his designs for both Golden Gate Park in San Francisco and for the streetscape in nearby San Mateo Park. The resulting alley of tunnel forming trees, comprised mainly of eucalyptus and elm trees, not only beautified but offered protection from the elements with its skyward reaching canopy. By the teens and early 1920s, other cities began the process of developing the highway with commercial enterprises, creating wide curb cuts and parking stalls catering to the newfangled automobile. Burlingame bucked the trend and continuously advocated for its leafy, tree-lined piece of paradise. In 1930, by vote of the people, Burlingame enacted the first zoning of its type in the nation, prohibiting commercialization of the highway, thereby saving the trees from inevitable destruction. Over the last century, there have been many efforts to widen the highway, thus removing the trees, most notably during the development of the Darius Ogden Mills estate at the northern border of Burlingame in the 1950s and periodically thereafter. Thanks to the activism of many over the years, Burlingame's trees still line the highway and in 2012, due to the efforts of the Burlingame Historical Society, have earned their place on the National Register of Historic Places. Thank you.